Rainbow Falls in Hilo. I got another local mocha. <laughs> now we're heading to the lava tube. Give it a go, don't waste your time. Cause you're running out. Give it a go and ask her out. Only takes a try, yeah. Even if she tells you no, then at least you know. So give it a go, give it a go. Dad and Sage went to go get the rent a car while we were getting the luggage. Now we just have to wait for him to pick us up. We're just doing a little bit of bird watching while we wait. Once Dad arrived with the rental car, we loaded it up and headed on our way to Hilo. Hilo is a city on the other side of the island and it's about an hour and a half drive. And while we were driving, we made sure we had our favorite Hawaiian snack. These are chocolate macadamia nuts. It was actually dark outside when we arrived at our hotel. So we'll have to show you the resort tomorrow morning. This resort is so peaceful in the morning. The resort serves its guests fresh local coffee and you can sit out here and watch the peaceful ocean and lava rocks. This was actually the second time our family has stayed at this resort. The last time we were here in the summer of 2019, there was a big community event for the 4th of July. So, the last time we were at this resort, we learned how to fish from a local girl. All the supplies that we need to fish. So, let's just make it and put the bait on and go fishing. I'm ready to go fishing. But before we could catch any fish, we had to actually catch a crab to use for bait. Crab. Sorry, buddy. Crab. Got it? Got it. Oh, it's hard to show. Okay. I like, feel like I found the Okay. It just grabbed onto the Now we just leave it there while we play. The crab is gone. I think a fish ate it. I guess the fish ate it in 10 minutes? <laughs> They're all coming out to eat the crab. For lunch, we went to a local cafe which serves local mochas. What did you get? These, These are, are local mochas. It's rice, beef, and egg. That one's Portuguese sausage and stew. I wasn't sure if I would like it, but it's really good. It's good. Good morning. The next day, we started our day with a little bit of homeschooling. And then we went out to go explore some of Hilo's waterfalls. We're here at Rainbow Falls in Hilo. This was filmed in April, which is Hilo's rainy season. So the waterfalls were really powerful. And then we headed to our next stop. Now we're at this park called Boiling Pots. We have no idea what we're gonna see here, so let's find out. Boiling Pots was actually really hard to capture in the camera, but it was beautiful in person. Wow, it's pretty. And then all of a sudden it started pouring down rain. So we ran to our car because we didn't have our umbrellas with us. We got rained out. The rain guards are very angry. <laughs> there was one more waterfall we wanted to show you and that was the Kaka Falls, but due to the weather, we weren't able to go see it. Here are some pictures from when we went to go visit in the summer of 2019. Here is another waterfall though we came across while we were driving home. Something we never realized is that Hilo is actually the rainiest city in the United States. Hilo averages about 12 inches of rain per month and its wettest months are November, December, March, and April. FI 100 again, getting local mocha. The chicken katsu, rice, meatloaf, macaroni salad, and chicken heka. I got another local mocha. Today we started the day by loading up the car with our winter gear for a very special adventure. Today we're headed to Volcano National Park. Hilo is the closest town to Volcano National Park and it's about a 45 minute drive to get there. Volcano National Park is where the most active volcanoes in Hawaii are located. So we just drove about 45 minutes to get to the Volcano Park. So now we're just gonna go look in the visitor center. It's cold, here's your pants. It's cold, put your pants on. 
What's going on in here? Here's your jacket. <laughs> the visitor center had a lot of really cool information about the plants and animals in this area. And it kind of felt like we were on a school field trip. At the visitor center, the park rangers told us about all the trails and cool places we could see in the park. There were seriously so many options, you could probably spend days exploring Volcano National Park. The one thing we noticed right away was how unique the plant species were, which makes sense because the rich soil from the volcano and the constant rain would make things grow really easily. Now we're heading to the lava tube. The lava tube is like a tunnel underground formed by a volcanic eruption. They are the actual tubes that the lava flows through. Here we go! We are entering the lava tube right now. Look how much lava there was back then. No, it just made, it made like a tunnel. This is where the lava flows. Smells like lava. This is so cool. I'm not going to hit my head. I'm too short. Don't hit your head there. Get down. Mom, can I have the phone? Uh oh. I literally just stepped in that whole entire thing. I can't do this. Yes, you can. Well, you gotta get through it. You just avoided it. Done. We all stepped in it. Done. And you avoided it. Done. My yeah, feet are like, soaked. Really cool. Yeah, your shoes have been cave washed. Oh, gross. They're gonna stink. And now it's time for the main event. This is where the volcano is most active and there's often fresh lava being spewed. We still have a half a mile to go. We're walking on the road that used to take you to the town. This road was overtaken by the lava in the recent eruption. Take a look and see why they closed this road. foggy. I don't think we're going to be able to see much. But we were still hopeful. This was our second time coming to this volcano and we didn't get to see lava the first time. You can see the smoke coming up from the crater. So here's the smoke coming out of the ground, meaning the volcano is definitely active. And here's the fresh lava field from the last eruption. Off in the distance where the blue steam seems to be coming up is where the park ranger said that there was fresh lava this morning. We stood there for a while hoping that we could get a glimpse of the lava spewing up. It apparently comes out in reds or yellows, but we weren't able to see anything like that. We did see a lot of steam coming up though, and it was interesting how the steam had a bluish tint to it. And apparently that is due to a chemical reaction between the gases that are coming out of the volcano. We didn't see anything as dramatic as that. But we were still thankful for the opportunity to be able to come to this volcano and to get to see it steaming like it was. We were also lucky enough to see a Hawaiian nene, which is a bird that is native to Hawaii. This specific type of goose isn't found anywhere else in the world. Uh -huh. Out of wood and a rock. Oh, so you got a string going for your fishing yeah. pole. And now you're trying to make a hook. Yeah. Today we are headed to another special spot in Hilu. We're here to see some turtles and maybe swim with them too. This is Carl Smith Beach Park. Last time we were here, this body of water was swarming with sea turtles. Let's see if we can find some turtles. We're gonna go snorkeling. Okay, so as it turns out, the turtles must not be here all year round. So we didn't see any turtles this time. But if you're in Hawaii in the summer months, definitely come here to swim with turtles. Because this is what we saw the last time. Good morning again. Today is the day that we are actually leaving Hilo and headed to the other side of the island, which is Kona. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on our adventures in Kona and our secret surprise of what we have coming up next.